Briefing lawmakers about Hong Kong's fiscal position, Financial Secretary Paul Chan admitted the government could end up with a deficit of more than $100 billion this financial year. He also expected the 2024-25 year to stay in the red, but insisted the administration remains financially sound. Replying to recent claims by mainland netizens that Hong Kong's days as an international financial center are over, Chan invited doubters to come and see for themselves the city's many advantages. But he conceded Hong Kong's economic recovery is slower than expected. He said this can partly be blamed on the uncertain geopolitical environment and the interest rate hike cycle around the world. That said, Monetary Authority Chief Executive Eddie Yu was confident that Hong Kong will continue to thrive. Speaking at a conference this morning, Yu said the attendance of business heavyweights at an investment summit last month reflected the undeniable potential and solid foundation of Hong Kong as an international financial hub. But as a small open economy, Hong Kong is inevitably affected by high interest rates around the world. He expects economic growth to be sluggish next year, but called on Hong Kongers to have faith. Janice Yu, Cable News.